Good day, I'm Don Toot for Engineering TV. Today I'm talking to Michael DeRoy at Efficient Power Conversion, EPC. Michael's got some interesting uh, takes on what used to be thought of as a done deal in terms of if efficient and uh, popular wireless charging. So um, I'll turn it over to him. Tell us about it. Hi, thank you, Don. Well, um, we have uh, three different standards for wireless power uh, at the moment. The uh, Wireless Power Consortium Qi standard, the Power Matters Alliance, and the uh, Alliance for Wireless Power Resent standard. Uh, the Qi and the PMA standard are based on inductive coupling, and they make use of lower power and very tight coupling between the two devices, and it's very popular. The uh, Resent standard, the Alliance for Wireless Power, makes use of highly resonant coils that allows for freedom of movement between the, the device and the, the transmit side. This uh, addresses the convenience factor that's required for wireless power to survive. So where does efficient power conversion come into the mix here, if it's just a, a charging method? Uh, efficient power conversion has been uh, uh, designing and building gallium nitride based transistors for several years now. And uh, initial testing revealed that these transistors uh, yield very good efficiencies in the amplifier. Ongoing work uh, on these uh, wireless power amplifiers has revealed that these transistors enable much wider uh, range of use, addressing the convenience factor than traditional uh, MOSFET-based transistors. This addresses a reduction in cost and increased performance and uh, it, uh, that ultimately provides the user with a higher um, power capability devices. A wider range of use, what exactly do you mean by that? When we add on, on a, uh, uh, an A4WP uh, resents coil, as you're adding different loads, it shifts the operating point of the coil. In addition, the coils can be placed on various foreign objects such as a metal table. All these factors need to be taken into account when, uh, for when a consumer uses these products. And these uh, um, uh, various conditions result in, a ver uh, in electrical specifications that make it very difficult to meet uh, the power demand for the system. So using the gallium nitride transistors makes it a little bit easier to, to meet those requirements. What specific spec is the, gives you the broadness? Uh, when you add the, uh, uh, the specifications on the coil, it yields a very uh, wide impedance range. So ah. you have a, a, a real component to it and a reactive component to it. And adding uh, foreign metal objects increases that impedance range dramatically and in terms of power uh, usage and in terms of convenience of factor. So that wide power range uh, uh, eliminates many types of amplifiers and transistors from operating over the entire range. Um, in the case of a class two uh, A4WP standard, uh, the uh, EGAN based uh, FET uh, amplifier can operate the entire range without uh, additional circuitry, whereas MOSFET based solutions cannot. Michael, are there actually uh, specific parts from uh, efficient power conversion that are designed for expressly these applications? Well, that's a great question, Don. The answer is yes. Uh, EPC has put a lot of work in the last three years in the uh, highly resonant uh, A4WP standard-based uh, amplifiers. And we have an amplifier here that is based on a zero voltage switching class D and we designed a special transistor for that to address the two power standards here, the class 3 and the class 2. Uh, in this case we have three transistors integrated into a single chip that offers us a cost advantage and we've also optimized it for specifically these uh, use case here so we have a, a optimized it for the highest possible efficiency. In addition, uh, EPC has recently started work on making a, a rectifier IC on the output stage as that has been identified as a, a bottleneck in the efficiency of such systems and with this chip we can then have the power losses for the receive side which is critical for cell phones as they have a limited power dissipation budget. This sounds exciting. Is there a way to get more information than just this short video? Yes, uh, we can direct you to our website at uh, www.epc-co.com. We also have recently published a book 
on wireless power which explains all the various standards and how to design systems and various amplifiers to the A4WP standard and also the new uh, multi-mode uh, systems that we're looking into is all in this book and it's available at DigiKey.